Hello everyone, this is Gay Paisley and I am with Art Mama Moves. Today is 100 Mondays and I am featuring um, this image, Sign of the Times. It's very relevant to what is happening um, in the United States today. Um, I photographed uh, my subject who is Jessica New Moon. Um, she is a member of the Absentee Shawnee and Ponca tribes and was the winner of the University of Central Oklahoma's first Miss Native America UCO contest. And um, again, I captured her at Oklahoma City University. Um, some years and she kind of sat on my in my de digital files for a while and then um, a lot of my work um, surrounds migration um, and I had visited my country of origin which is Antigua which is in the West Indies and um, when I was there, I began to recollect the stories that my Antiguan elders had shared with me and that Antiguan scholars had written about. And it was specific to the people who populated the island prior to Columbus. And um, they were, I mean, it was genocide. They, they all uh, died from disease um, that was brought into the country. Um, and their stories sounded a lot like the stories that my Native American sisters here in Oklahoma would share with me. And it just didn't seem right to move forward with my story of immigration and migration if I did not pay homage to the people um, whose land I occupy. Um, and so Sarah Adams Cornell, who is a Native American mother and activist here in Oklahoma, and I started a collaborative of storytelling. Um, this series is called Not For Sale. Again, this particular image is called Sign of the Times. And, um, you know, it has the Oklahoma land run in black and white um, in the sky. I actually took a cat photograph of the monument. Um, and as a hospice nurse, you know, I was traveling. Yeah, I'm a nurse too. I'm sorry. I don't know how to, where to add that in. But um, I was traveling and um, ended up in one of our communities, rural communities in Oklahoma, and came across um, a street called Redskin Road. Now, my Native American friends have given me the accurate history of the term redskin. And so I knew that it was an offensive term. Um, you know, we see it on street signs, we wear it on t-shirts, um, but it is a derogatory term. Um, and um, the reason it's derogatory is because they actually they would actually skin Native American people and turn their skin into Bible covers, etc. I've seen the historical documents, the the mon I mean, the, they're in museums, what have you. Um, we've been miseducated, and so I took a picture of that particular sign and I placed Jessica New Moon um, in a position where we could tell a story a sign of the times. Um, recently, right now in Oklahoma, the Native American activists are um, uh, considering ways to topple that monument. They um, actually are having sit-ins and protests that regard it. Um, the Washington, formerly known with a derogatory term, today, just today, decided that they were going to eliminate the name. So anyway, I just want to thank Jessica New Moon and Sarah Adams Cornell for this collaboration. If you want more information about the piece, please reach out to Art Mama Moves at www.artmamamoves. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Bye-bye.